Good afternoon guys, it's rolling with Borealis Bushcraft and Survival. So, we just went through all the pocket chainsaw type videos. So, the other thing I saw at Wells today was these firelight cubes from SOL. So, it says fire with a single spark. Now, this is similar to maybe an Esbit type type tablet, which worked quite well. How to use, remove firelight cube from plastic and place under kindling or in emergency stove. Okay, so you, this is good, you can use it with a stove. Light cubes and to add more charcoal logs, etc. Okay, that's cool. So, Interesting. It says you can use it. it. Looks like it's being used with an Esbit style stove to cook. Emergency stove fuel. So it was packaged in these. There's 12 in a pack. It's 10 bucks. This is reasonable, right? And a little blister packs, individual. So I'll keep that separate. We'll figure out what I just did with the other ones. Ah, there we go. So I poured about 250 mLs of water in my canteen cup here. Move my canteen cup just for a second. I'm going to start with one. I'm just going to place it on the tree here. A little pull tab, which is really tiny. So keep in mind, if you got cold hands or your fingers don't want to work, you might have some issues. Okay, got a spot there where it's somewhat half ass flat. That says lights with a spark, guys. Lights with a spark. Spark. Okay, so I'm not gonna tease anything, do anything, any prep work or nothing here. We're just gonna put the spark to it. the spark in the thing. Really? Holy Christ. Yeah, I think she's going because I see bubbling. Okay, it's going. A little harder to light than I figured. Put that guy on there. It is about 18 minutes to two. We're gonna see how long this takes to come to a boil. If it'll come to a boil. Go from there. So one of the things that one of the things that I like to do is test out gear. I've been testing gear for damn near 30 years. Now, if this turns out that it's you know functional, you know, it doesn't give any any timeline as to what a you know quarter a cup of water is going to boil at, which is usually the standard is a cup of water, 250 mLs. Contains denatured ethanol. Warning: flammable. Keep out of reach of children. Oh well, fail right there. Shouldn't let me play with it. So we got the lid on the pot. Things going underneath here. She's boiling away. Well, bubbling away or whatever the hell you want to call it, just sitting on the log. We'll see if we even get any kind of bubbles out of one cube. And that's something else that you got to look at is how many of these things do I need to boil a bloody cup of water to add to my mountain house or, you know, make tea or whatever, right? 
if you're in a non-permissive environment, if you're thinking about it from a military standpoint, you don't want to sit in there be adding cubes and adding cubes and adding cubes and adding cubes. It's stupid. So it's got to be efficient at what it needs to do. Back in the day, it used to be like trioxane, you know, esbit cubes of the German, you know, been around for like ever. I don't even remember when they were, you know, put into effect. But the Pathfinder canteen cup and the canteen stove is supposed to be designed to work with some kind of a fuel fuel cube. So we're gonna we're gonna test out these cubes. Maybe next time I'll go and buy a package of Esbit cubes and and we'll compare them. But yeah. So, so here we go. Do do do. I'm not seeing any kind of steam, and we're at. Oh, uh, three, three and a half, four minutes now. I'm gonna chuck this rest of the packaging in the fire. So that is kind of ooey gooey good all over the log here, but I mean I can see flame under there, so we're we're still going. I can still hear it cooking, kind of cooking away. So the ultimate goal here would be to hopefully have at least the start of some bubbles by the end of one cube. Otherwise, you might as well carry an alcohol stove. Which to me is the perfect combination with, uh, with the Pathfinder stove. You can use this with sticks, you can use it with, you know, fuel cubes, you can put it in the fire, keep it up off the coals, whatever, however you want to use it, very versatile. Same idea with an Esbit stove too. So, yeah. The other thing that I've noticed too is whatever they've put in here is your containers aren't actually full by the looks of it unless that's a liquid that I'm seeing in there it seems more like a gel it's kind of solid but yeah I don't know we're gonna see we're gonna see so we basically almost burned out to just about nothing and we got a little bit of steam going, no bubbles yet. And the reason I'm saying bubbles is water purification. You need to bring it to a rolling boil. So we're gonna add the second one underneath here. I don't know if I can do this. That's gone completely out. Yeah. So, all right, that being said, we did not get water to boil. With the first installment. Back in business. So 
that was one cube that we just burned through and just lit the second one. I got this rod at Lee Valley and well, I like a softer rod. This one's almost too soft for this. It's very, very hard to direct sparks, as you saw, right? Throws good sparks, just not necessarily where I want them. If I got a large fluffy tinder bundle, we're good. Even when I lit the fire today, it was a bit of a challenge to get some sparks actually where I wanted them to go. But, see if we get some boiled water at the end of this. Hopefully my video does not cut out. We are at 11 minutes and 20 seconds. As you can see, I got that second cube going as fast as I possibly could to keep as much heat in my cup as I could. So I'm gonna toss this into the fire. The idea behind a solid tablet fuel type stove or an alcohol stove is I'm not creating a lot of smell, I'm not creating a lot of light signature, and I'm not a whole lot of noise. There's no cra real crackle of the fire, nothing that can't be, you know, covered up. The other thing I will say is these cubes are very, very messy. An Nesbitt cube is more solid and it stays, keeps your heat more condensed into the middle. This kind of kind of like melts and blobs itself out. Maybe if the flames were closer, if I was to put say like a flat rock up, light it, put the, put the stove over top of her after, might improve your burn. Your, uh, your efficiency. <coughs> so yeah, as a fire lighting implement, I think it would be okay as a tinder source. But we're gonna see. If I gotta add an extra one just to get a boil out of this, then there's uh, not much point considering you know, you get a dozen in a package. You can see, hopefully you can see that in the camera. It's kind of all blobbed out. The plastic burns at the same time. So yeah. We got steam-ish. But the question is, is where are we gonna get a boil with two cubes? See how it kind of blobbed up and kind of kind of oozing out surface area wise. So I think that right there is a little bit of a detriment. You, uh, oh, dude, sap all over my ass. Whatever, minor detail. Yeah, I'll lean on the glove. And it's pretty much almost burnt out. And we do not have any bubbles. We have steam, but no bubbles. So I am going to say that utilize these as a solid fuel tablet. 
and there's like hardly any wind right now so it's not like the wind's blowing all my heat away I'd say it's a bit of a bust to be honest and we are at oh can see we are at 15 minutes and 30 seconds There's still just a little bit of flameage under there. Not enough to really do anything. So you know what? I'm gonna draw my conclusions and, and say that the SOL solid fuel tablets are semi-solid, we're gonna call them, because it kind of just turned into mush. Uh, while being not a bad thing to have for adverse conditions fire lighting, um, not so good for cooking on. Not so good for cooking on, guys. So, yeah. Anyway, you saw it. There is barely, barely a bubble in the bottom there to be had. Hot enough to make a cup of tea with purified water. Not hot enough to purify water. So keep that as as paramount guys because if you need to if you need to use a solid fuel tablet stove to purify water you don't know where the means and you can't light a fire you're kind of hooped at least with these cubes i boiled water with esbit cubes before it took about two cubes to do it which is kind of why my i'm stopping here after two cubes because i know what esbits do anyway you saw it Cheers, guys.